Have you ever wondered how tyres are made? Every day we hop into our cars, push the pedal to the metal and trust our lives to those four circular pieces of rubber. Tyres, an essential component of our vehicles, often go unnoticed in the grand scheme of things, yet their role is pivotal, providing us with safety, comfort and performance. Creating these marvels of engineering is no small feat. It's a complex process that marries technology and artistry, demanding precision and attention to detail. Tires are more than just molded rubber. They're a symphony of diverse materials, each playing a vital part in ensuring your vehicle grips the road, brakes efficiently and rides smoothly. The journey of a tire, from raw materials to the finished product, is a fascinating one. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of safety and performance. Stay tuned as we delve into the intricate process of tyre manufacturing. The first step in tyre manufacturing is gathering the raw materials. The most essential of these is rubber. Natural rubber tapped from rubber trees provides flexibility and strength to the tyre. However, natural rubber alone can't do the job. This is where synthetic rubber comes in. It offers better heat resistance and ageing performance, making our tyres last longer. Next, we have carbon black. This sooty black powder enhances the durability and longevity of the tyre. It also improves the tyre's grip, making your drive safer. Finally, we need chemicals. These include sulphur and zinc oxide, amongst others. Sulphur is used in the vulcanization process to make the rubber more durable, while zinc oxide increases the tyre's resistance to heat and wear. These ingredients, when combined in the right proportions, create the perfect blend for a tyre. Each plays a pivotal role in ensuring that the final product is durable, safe and reliable. Once we have these materials, we can start the actual manufacturing process. Now, we begin the process of building the tyre. Imagine a symphony where each musician plays their part to create a harmonious whole. That's what building a tyre is like, with each component coming together to create a product that's more than the sum of its parts. First, we have the bead the heart of the tyre. This is a bundle of high-strength steel wires coated in rubber for flexibility. The bead is what gives the tyre its shape and ensures it stays snugly fitted to the wheel rim. Next up is the creation of the plies. These are the tyre's body, its skeleton if you will. Plies are layers of fabric, usually polyester, nylon or steel cord, embedded in rubber. They give the tyre its strength and flexibility, allowing it to absorb impacts and conform to the road surface. The number and arrangement of plies can vary depending on the tyre's intended use. Now we're on to the tread. This is the part of the tyre that meets the road, the surface that provides grip and channels away water to prevent aquaplaning. Tread patterns can be as varied as the cars they're fitted to, with different designs for different weather conditions, road surfaces and driving styles. The tread is applied over the plies, like a coat of armour protecting the tyre's inner structure, and lastly, the sidewalls. These are the vertical sections of the tyre that connect the tread to the bead. They're made from flexible rubber compounds that allow the tyre to flex and absorb impacts. They also carry important information about the tyre, like its size, load rating and speed rating. Each of these components is carefully assembled in a process that's part science, part art. The bead, plies, tread and sidewalls are layered together, with each component precisely positioned to ensure the tyre's performance and safety. With all the components in place, we now have a green tyre that's ready for curing, the green tyre now moves on to the curing process. This is where the magic really happens, where the tyre takes its final form and its tread pattern is etched into place. The curing process involves two main components, heat and a mould. The green tyre, which up until now has been a rather shapeless and flexible entity, is placed into a large hollow mould. This mould is not just any mould, but a meticulously designed and carefully crafted piece of equipment. It's the mould that gives the tyre its distinctive tread pattern, which is so crucial for grip and traction on the road. Once in the mould, heat is applied. This heat, usually around 150 degrees Celsius, triggers a process known as vulcanization. The term might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it's actually a very simple and fundamental process. 
Vulcanization involves the heating of rubber under pressure, which causes the rubber to become more durable and resilient. It's this process that gives the tire its final firm shape and ensures it can withstand the rigors of the road. The tire spends a good amount of time in the mold, usually around 10 to 15 minutes. But this isn't a one-size-fits-all scenario. The exact time and temperature will vary depending on the specific type of tire being produced. A racing tire, for example, might require a different curing process than a standard passenger vehicle tire. After the curing process, the tire is removed from the mold. It's now a fully formed tire, complete with its tread pattern and all the other features that make it ready to hit the road. But don't be fooled by its new shiny appearance. The curing process might have given it its shape and tread, but it's not quite ready for action just yet. Once cured, the tire is almost ready, but there's one more step to complete. And that, my friends, is the final inspection, where the tire is rigorously checked to ensure it meets the highest standards of quality and safety. But that's a story for another scene. The final step in tire manufacturing is the inspection. This stage is the gatekeeper, the last line of defense, ensuring each tire's safety and quality before it rolls out into the world. It's a vital step that can't be overlooked or rushed. After all, these tires are destined for heavy duty use. From the racing circuits to off-roading adventures, from city streets to long, winding country roads, each tyre is put through a series of rigorous checks designed to spot any potential flaws or weaknesses. The first check is a visual one. Inspectors, with their trained eyes, scrutinise every inch of the tyre, on the lookout for any surface irregularities or deformities. They check the tread, the sidewalls, the beads, no stone is left unturned, or rather, no rubber is left unexamined. Next, the tyre is subjected to a high-tech X-ray inspection. This isn't your typical medical X-ray, but it's not too far off. Just as a doctor would look for fractures or abnormalities in a patient's bone, the X-ray machine scans the inner structure of the tyre, hunting for any hidden issues that might compromise its integrity. These could be anything from air pockets to inconsistencies in the steel belts and everything in between. Remember, each tyre is a complex, layered structure, a marvel of engineering. And while the construction process is highly automated and precise, it's not infallible. That's where the inspection comes in. It's the human touch, the final quality control that ensures each tyre is worthy of the road. The inspection process is thorough and meticulous, and rightly so. It's not just about ensuring a high-quality product, but more importantly, it's about guaranteeing safety. You see, when you're cruising down the highway at 70 miles per hour, you want to be certain that your tyres are up to the task. Once a tyre passes the inspection, it's ready to hit the road. And you can be confident knowing it's been subjected to the most stringent checks and tests. It's not just a tyre, it's a promise of safety and quality. So that's how a tyre is made. Our journey began with the gathering of raw materials. From natural and synthetic rubber, carbon black, steel and a plethora of chemicals, each ingredient plays a unique role in the creation of the humble tyre. The blend of these materials is carefully controlled to ensure the tyre's durability, flexibility and grip. It's a delicate balancing act of science and engineering. Next came the building of the tyre, an intricate process where each component is assembled with precision. The tread sidewall, beads and other parts are layered together to form the green tyre. This isn't a simple task of assembly, it's a process that demands utmost accuracy. For any misalignment could lead to a compromised tyre. It's the very definition of precision engineering. The green tyre then undergoes the transformative process of curing. Exposed to high heat and pressure, the tyre takes on its final shape, complete with the tread pattern and sidewalls. This is where the tyre gains its strength and character. It's like a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly, a metamorphosis that gives the tyre its final form and function. Finally, each tyre undergoes a rigorous final inspection. Quality control is paramount, as a single flaw can lead to catastrophic failure. Each tyre is visually inspected, tested for balance, and x-rayed for internal irregularities. It's a testament to the commitment to safety and quality that defines the tyre manufacturing industry. In essence, tyre manufacturing is a complex dance of materials, science, 
engineering and quality control. It's a process that demands precision, patience and a deep understanding of the physics that govern our roads. It's an art form, a testament to human ingenuity and the quest for safer, more efficient travel. Next time you see a tyre, remember the intricate process that goes into making it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos like this one.